many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name is cast out devils. In thy name the many wonderful works. And then why I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You can go to Jimmy Swaggart. You can go to, let's say, uh, from from point from Stump's point of view that he said. You could put um, Ken, and I, I put I use Ken as an example again. I'm not condemning anyone here because I can put myself in that position. That if I if I, if if my life was totally considered, okay, I would be. God could say, "Hey, you were a worker of iniquity. I do not know you." Okay, you Lupin and you Stump, could you actually say? that there's a hundred percent certainty that God would recognize you and that would not say you worker of iniquity or, or say, I do not know you. Can you say that a hundred percent? Can I say that hundred percent? Well, I, I don't claim to know, be able to speak for God, but uh, according to what his words say, I say, I'd say a hundred percent as long as I don't fall into sin and live in sin, that'll be good. Then, then I'll have a hundred percent guarantee that that won't happen. Okay, to, to okay to that point, but you also believe that we're born in sin, so we're. So do you think that your body, that your physical human self, is capable of perfection like Christ? Uh, I don't right know. Now. I, I, right now, right I can't now. Say, I'd say no from my own experience, but uh, you know, you just say be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. So that's something we should strive for. That's that should be the target we hit for. I mean, that's what I. That's how I believe he said it. Now, you know, when Jesus speaks, man, it holds a lot of weight to me because he, he's telling you like directly. I know the whole Bible is the word of God. I get it. But when he speaks, man, it's like double, double, triple, triple thing. Man, pay attention. You know, when he says enter at the straight gate, right? You got to figure out what is what is the straight gate? Strive to enter at the straight gate. For many I see unto you will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leads to destruction. And may there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leads unto life. And few there be that find it. And, or if he says, I never knew you, then, for instance, he says, I never knew you, right? Let's see, verse 27 of Luke 13. He says, I tell you, I, I know you not whence you are. Okay, so what, what does it mean to know? Let's look and see what it means to know. What does it mean to know Jesus, right? And uh, John 1, 2 says, Hereby we know, hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that says, I know him, and keep not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. That tells us how we know him, right? And he says, I don't know you. So yeah. I, I, I see the connection there. I mean, I, if nobody else does, I mean, like I said, I'm going to declare it, and if anybody else believes it or not, that's up, you know. I don't want to argue about no. it. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. And hereby we do know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He that says, I know him, and keep not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keep his word, in him verily, is the love of God perfected. Thereby know we that we are in him. He that said he abides in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. <laughs>